Hey everyone, uh, another update for you. Firstly, I'm I'm really sorry. I, I've been overzealous with my uh, estimations uh, just before Christmas. Uh, obviously, I had to take a, a little bit of time off for my family. Well, I wanted to and I had to. Uh, and of course, uh, the developers as well. Um, there was a bit of an extra delay there. Um, one of the developers that's working on this had a, an extended time over Christmas, so... There was a bit more of a gap than I thought there was going to be before we got to uh, getting these cards out. Now, all the cards are built, and as you can see, um, all of the fans and everything are all installed. They're all completely done. Hundreds of cards all ready to be shipped out and boxed. They've just been waiting for the final things on the firmware to be um, ready, to, ready for prime time, basically. Um, I know it's been frustrating for you guys, but... What I absolutely can't do is send out uh, the card um, if there's going to be flakiness that's going to cause cards to come back, obviously. Um, and what the last real remaining issue with that, um, aside from some stuff like MIDI and, and things like that, which we'd got over already, but one of the biggest problems was the actual method of getting plugins on to the card. Now, it wasn't a problem for us here, but it would be a problem for customers. Uh, and that process of getting plugins onto your card because that's going to be the first thing that people are going to want to do is like oh i want to dump this on there i want to dump that on there uh, and that process had to be rock solid uh and so that's been um a bit of head banging um just just getting that method of getting plugins onto the card uh easy for uh for you guys um and i'm going to show you some stuff that i've been working on as well that's uh, that i think you're going to really enjoy um, but I, for this first part of the video, look, I just wanted to apologize. I'm still here. The cards are here. <laughs> I, I'm not lying. They're, they're all they're physically, they're ready to go. Um, they're just waiting for me to sit there with like 50 SD cards flashing uh, the first version of the shippable firmware, which I believe it seems like I'm going to have that by the end of today or tomorrow. Um, and then um, Rob and I are going to be sat there and that is going to be such a horrible task, burning the firmware onto every one of these cards. I think b between me and Rob, we'll probably be able to get about 30 to 40 cards out a day, I, I think. We should be able to manage. Um, or, or most of the guys that used to work with me have all got real jobs now. So it's only really ever me and Rob or, or uh, Tony um, does the synth repairs. Um, oh, which is really nice. We've been working on this EML 101 and you know Wes from Curry Cases because he makes all the beautiful wood sides. He's made this beautiful case. Uh, this is ready to go. Anyway, I, I digress. Um, like I said, um, there's only going to be uh, me, and, me and Rob doing these cards, getting the firmware out. So just be patient. I'm pretty certain I'm going to work all this weekend um, and burning firmware on so i i expect that the first cards are going to start shipping on monday um well the other thing i've obviously been working on is gear trader which is now actually live um i'm just not marketing it at the moment because we've got this dsp card business but what i will say in this video is if you're a customer of isla instruments uh, and you can prove that by giving me an order number or something anything you want to buy from GearTrader.net is 10 percent off for you uh, just send me an offer uh, if there's anything you're interested in on the site and um, I will uh, honour it if, you, if you're if you an existing customer. Um, but I'm not shouting from the rooftops about that just yet because we've got more pressing matters with this and Caladan to talk about. Now, what I'm going to do is transfer over to the computer and show you what I've been working on uh, for the DSP card and for Caladan, which I think you're really going to enjoy. Okay, so one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot is how you guys uh, are going to get yourself content onto the machine. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't want you to be uh, have, being hungry for finding plugins and stuff like that. So as you probably heard me mention in the past, what I'm intending to do is to sort of curate a list of known good plugins that we can put on the machine. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be getting there's going to be plugins being created for it as we go along. Um, but what I've started to do is to create a dedicated area of the Isla Instruments website um, of a, a directory of plugins that I've tested. Um, I'm still populating it. I'm trying to do too many things at the same time, but I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, the directory is on the website and is running. There's just not a lot on there at the moment. I've got a big spreadsheet of stuff that I've tested. Um, so I'm populating that. 
uh, and also um, actually one of the biggest things that people ask for with the S2400 is multi samples can I play back you know multi-layered samples or polyphonic samples uh, and that wasn't possible until we got the DSP card so as you've heard me talk about in the past um, we I've gone down the sound font route um, and soon to probably be SFC as well, because that's a similar sort of format that's a more that's open. Um, but SoundFont um, has got a, a, a there's a huge amount of of content out there for SoundFonts, and SoundFonts for those of you that don't know um, was actually a format introduced by Creative Labs, um, Sound Blaster guys. Um, that's kind of like a self-contained uh, monolithic file that contains samples. Um, that are put against key groups and stuff like that to make your multi multi layered samples and they're bundled into instruments which are then you can bundle multiple instruments or layers if you'd like if you're talking from a synthesizer perspective uh, into presets and so you've got presets instruments can be part of presets and samples are part of instruments um, and it's a nice sort of self contained file so I have created um, a plugin. Uh, for the S2400 and also for the Caladan um, that takes an SF2 file and it bundles it into a plugin um, that can then just go straight onto the machine. It addresses, you know, this this much asked for feature uh, with being able to play uh, layered instruments uh, on the machine. Um, and also what this does is it, it actually turns the S2400 into a tone source. So, you know, you might not even be making beats on it, but you can hook up your piano, your keyboard and your sustain pedal and everything and actually just play it as if it was uh, a, a tone source in its own right. So it opens the thing up a lot. Um, what I'm going to do real quick is just I'm just going to show you through the tools that I've created um, that will be launched soon. Um, they're not finished, but they're they're pretty they're getting pretty mature. Uh, and I think when you use all of this in combination with your DSP card, you're going to hit the ground running. Um, you'll have a lot of stuff that you can just use right off the bat. So let's let's. I'm just going to jump on the computer and talk you through it. It's easier than explaining it like a moron like I am now. All right. I've done is I've started creating this directory, and as you can see, there's only four plugins on there at the moment. Um, but I've got a big spreadsheet full of stuff that I've got to start populating this with. And I will be getting to that uh, as soon as I've started sh finished shipping all of these cards out. So uh, what this is, is you just come to our website uh, and the plugin directory is there. And any one of these plugins can be, um, you can, depending on how it is, there's a, from a legal standpoint, I can't always provide download links. But what I can provide download links for, I will. Uh, this like got a donate button to the author because this is all open source plugins uh, and you can go look at the source code and they've generally got some the downloads that you can just download from their thing uh, and a description of what the plugin is I've actually been using this I got Luna plugin for years it's a fantastic uh, granular delay and you can really mess up audio with it but you can take almost any sample and turn it into a like a big long cloud like uh, pad sound um, it's just one plugin that works on the system so it's in there just for me to uh, mess around with also there'll be pre-bundled sound font packages uh, this vintage dreams waves is a fantastic sound font um, that I've converted into a plugin with Ian Wilson's blessing uh, and he's given me also a, an, another bundle full of stuff these are all sort of analog and FM sort of and, and wavetable um, sounding uh, instruments uh, and I'll go through some of them anyway but the, what I'm saying here is that I've started putting together this directory um, that you guys can come in and, and look read stuff and you're like oh I want to download that one you can download it and then you can just put it straight onto your S2400 so there's that uh, and what I also uh, created was a command line tool that essentially just takes um, a sound font file as input, and we'll get to where you get sound fonts in a minute and how to create them in a minute. But So I started off creating this tool um, that you feed it a sound font file and it reads all the presets out of it and then bundles it into a plugin that you can just copy straight over to your S2400. But I realized that that might be beyond the scope um, of uh, a fair few um, people. So I set about 
turning this into a web application that will also run on our website. Uh, it's not finished, but it's very close. And I actually started two apps, but they're both going to be rolled into one. This one is more of a, a sort of a preview thing that then bundles it into an LV2 plugin. So um, you let's say you've got your sound font and um, where are my sound fonts? And you upload your sound font there. And this sort of basically gives you a preview of it. Um, tells you all about the metadata that's in the sound font, lists out all of the presets, and you can actually play around with this. I'm connecting it to my MIDI keyboard controller that's underneath, so you can see me um, messing around with the controls right now. And you can, as it's loaded this sound font up, you can just start going through presets. And so you might have a big bundle of preset uh, sound fonts and you don't know you know, if you want it or not. So rather than go at the trouble of putting it on your machine, you can bang it into this on our website, load it up uh, and see if it's... Mess around with it and see if it's something you want or not before bundling it as a plugin uh, and then putting it on your S2400. That's all well and good, um, but I then decided, well, the thing is, people want to create their multi-samples and multi-layered samples and will probably want to just create their own sound fonts. But many people don't really know much about sound fonts in the first place. So what we're working on now is this web-based uh, sound font creator, which will also just be on the website. Um, there are a, Their website is down at the moment, this isn't me, but um, you can sort of do a potluck and look at sound fonts from this awesome website called Musical Artifacts. For instance, you can just go on to here and search for stuff. There are thousands and thousands of sound fonts um, on this website uh that you can just go and download like huge pianos and uh, some of these sound fonts are ridiculous in size and actually too big to fit on the card but but they're silly like four gigabyte sound sound fonts that you really don't need but there's yeah there's stuff for all sorts of musical genres and um just just endless supplies of sounds basically uh and from our application you can search that repository that we just looked at there um, that will bring up results and you can click them and they load straight into this application. But just for demo purposes now, I'm just gonna upload, uh, upload that, that same sound font. Now, as I said, this isn't finished, but it's actively being worked on. This breaks out the sound font and allows you to see then all of the presets. Um, uh, so you can work on it on the Isla Instruments website, go in and start creating uh, and editing um, instruments. Now, what we're doing here at the moment is we are, we've loaded up the Emu Orbit, um, which is a sound font from this awesome company, Digital Sound Factory. And these guys uh, have commercial sound fonts available for sale. You've heard me talk about these. We are, uh, they are gonna do us, you guys, uh, a special deal. Um, so when this goes, when our thing goes live, uh, they'll be doing like a bundle pack for you. Um, but there's all of those old classic machines and loads more as well. They've got like dance kits, e roads, Yamaha, you know, loads of stuff. You're never going to run out of sounds is what I'm trying to say. Um, loads of different stuff for you to choose from. Um, but um, so you can load a sound font in here and edit the instruments um, to your liking. Um, Obviously, an interface like this leans, uh, lends itself a much easier editing for you than it does the smaller screen that's on the S2400. Now, all I've broken out currently on the S2400 end of this is your filters and your main volume envelope. Um, we can probably add more to it, um, but, but the plugins that this creates just as the basic control. So... You want to create your preset instrument sounds and stuff with more granularity. You're just going to use this and then click on the download button 
um, to convert and save, and that will bundle it as a plugin, and you just copy that to your SD card, and away you go. So most um, sound font banks have like 120 up to 128 banks, and uh, then 128 presets within each bank. So a sound font can potentially hold uh, 65,536 presets uh, in it. So if we look at um, so yeah uh, presets, we go in there. You can, and the presets are made of instruments. So this is the instrument that belong one of the instruments that belongs to that preset, and you can pile on more instruments so that you could be playing like a piano with a vocal choral vocal underneath it and a string. So we bundle all of those instruments together, and that becomes a preset, and then that will be going into your S twenty four hundred. Now, the other thing that you'll be able to do in in this uh, application that we've created um, is, uh, in this window, you're gonna drag all your sample files in here, and from there, the ground up, all of your samples, then you can adjust, send, uh, set them up to go to key groups and blah, 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 and create instruments from them, and also edit them. Uh, and that bit has been fleshed out pretty, pretty well. Oh, that's loud. So, you know, for all of the samples that you load in, you can then go in and create loop points. And this is all going on on our website. Uh, you can scrub over an audio file. Uh, create your loop points and then move your loop around. You can snap it to do zero crossing so you don't get clicks. So you'll be able to do some basic editing and functionality there. So what will happen, and let's just say you've got a multi-sample um, of a piano that you wanna make a really nice deep piano. You might have like 20 samples for different keys of the piano, and you're just gonna drag them into this window here, and then create an instrument with that. And in this instrument view, um, as you've already seen, you've got this editor, but there's part of the editor missing at the moment where you've got this sample, okay, I want this sample to stretch across this key and this key, and the next sample, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you're breaking out this into a web application makes you really be able to create in-depth and tailor-make the sounds that you want to put in your S2400. Um, now, obviously, this is just targeting the multi-sample playback um, capabilities that it is able to do. Um, but as um, as I've already said, there are multiple different virtual instruments that are actually gen generating the synthesis themselves uh, that you can do. And also in that plugin directory that I already showed you uh, will also be uh, pl audio plugins um, that I've sort of curated and said are, are good stuff. Um, I think that's about it for now. Like I said, I'm going to be working my bollocks off this weekend because I think I've got the shippable firmware either this evening or tomorrow morning. Um, so all of this weekend, I'm going to be flashing the firmware onto them cards and getting the cards out to you. Um, there were a couple of other tabs I was going to show you here. Oh, yeah, again, so go to the Internet Archive and just sound font collections uh, coming out the chimney. There's, they're just They're everywhere. Uh, and you you're not going to be you're not going to run out of sounds so again look i'm really sorry for the delays um i've got all of this stuff going on and gear trader and stuff like that but it's all it's all coming together <laughs> and the cards are going to be on their way to you in a few days um so looking forward to getting feedback from you all right see you then